Hi students, welcome back. Coming to the next topic in the subject theory of computations is the complexity classes. So the complexity classes is of two two type means we are based on time complexity or on the space complexity. So what is the time complexity? Time complexity means how long the computation takes to ex execute. So whatever we are taking a string, okay. So how long that the uh, machine is computing this string means how long that is a time how long that is a time complexity so how long the computation takes to execute is determines the time complexity in a Turing machine this could be measured as number of moves which are required to perform a computation so in the Turing machine how you decide the time complexity how you find out the time complexity so that is it is completely based on number of moves which are required to perform the computation. Suppose I want to compute this, uh, uh, sorry, this alphabet. This is this symbol. Okay. So this is an input I want to compute in the Turing machine. So how much number of it takes? So how much... Uh, this could be measured as number of moves which are uh, required to perform computation. So, that is the number of machine cycles. Okay. It's completely on number of machine cycle means which uh, measure number of moves which are required to perform a computation. Now, put some Q0, okay, from taking the input and the next state and right or left. So, how many number of moves it is taking to access the string. So, that is represents on the time complexity. Then what about the space complexity? Space complexity means how much storage is required for computation. So, to solve its input, to solve that problem, how much space is required for computation? That is a space. Space is storage. Time is how much uh, time it takes to complete that equation. Okay, so the space complexity is how much storage is required for computation. In Turing machine, number of cells are used. So here we are using in the tape how many cells that are used that depends upon the space complexity. Here we are using the three cells. Okay, the space complex uh, complexity is three. Okay, so the number of bytes we are using. There's a main concept of time complexity and space complex complexity. Now coming to this complexity classes. There are different types of complexity classes, P class, N class, NP class, okay, uh, completeness of NP, like that. So, different types of classes are there. So, I want to explain you some of the classes regard, uh, regarding this complexity classes. The first one is a P class. So, what is this P class? The set of decision problems is solvable in polynomial time or in the class P. That is a P class. The P class definition is here I am set of decision problems. Set of decision problems that are solvable in a polynomial time. In a polynomial in a particular polynomial time, I am solving the set of decision problems that you represents the P class. So if there exists an algorithm A, let us assume that if there exists an algorithm A, a such that A takes instance of D as input. Okay. A takes instance algorithm A. Okay. A is an algorithm. So, A takes instance of D as input. Now, A always outputs the correct answer either S or no. Means because this is a decision problem. You have to take it as S or no. There exists a polynomial P such that the execution of A on input of size N always terminate on P of N. Because there exists a polynomial P. So, such that the execution of algorithm on input, I am taking the size N, the space complexity is a size N, always terminated at the P of N or a fewer steps. So, the example for this P class is the minimum spanning tree. Okay, the minimum spanning tree problem is in class P. If you, if, you want, if you want to know about this minimum spanning tree, just see my previous videos in other subject. Okay, in the DA. So, there I explain the minimum spanning tree. So, the minimum spanning tree is in this class P. How can I say this is in class P? Because there the set of decision problems is solvable in a particular polynomial time. So, the class P is often considered as a synonymous with a class of computational feasible problems. Although in practice, this is somewhat unrealistic. Now, coming to NP class. 
What is this NP class? So, NP class is non-deterministic. A decision problem is non-deterministically polynomial, time solvable or in the class NP, if there exists an algorithm A such that means the NP class means it is a non-deterministically polynomial time solvable or you can take this algorithm. So, here in this algorithm, there exists a polynomial P. There exists a polynomial P such that for each potential witness of each instance of size n of a d, there exists an algorithm A that takes in P of n steps. So, just like P class, it's just taking the each instance uh, algorithm A takes at most, not uh, always terminates. It takes at most P of n steps. So, there in P class, the size of n always terminates uh, in P of n. But here, the execution of algorithm A takes at most P of n steps. So, think of a non-deterministic computer as a computer that magically guesses a solution There has to verify that it is correct. Just think that it is uh, that non-deterministic computer is always magically guessing a solution. Okay. So, verifying that it is a correct. If solution exists, computer always gets it. One way to imagine it, a parallel computer that can freely spawn an infinite number of process that is it having one processor work on each possible solution or all processor attempts to verify that there is a solution work or if a processor finds it as a working solution oh. okay so the main thing here in the np class is every problem in this class can be solvable in exponential time using exhaustive search now let me explain you the p versus np what is this class P versus NP? What is the main difference between the class P and the class NP? Now, let's see. Every decision problem that is solvable by a deterministic polynomial time algorithm is also solvable by polynomial time non-deterministic. Okay. Every decision problem, whatever the decision problem you are taking, that is solvable by deterministic polynomial as well as the non-deterministic polynomial. That is the determin uh, all uh, so there's a P and NP. All problems in polynomial P can be solvable with polynomial time algorithm, whereas the problems in NPP are intractable. It is not known whether the P is equal to NP. We doesn't know whether uh, the P always equals to NP or not. However, many problems are known in NP with their property. That if they belong to P, then it can be proved that P is equal to NP. So, when you can solve, when you can uh, know that P is equal to NP. So, whenever there is a property that if they belong to polynomial, that can be proved that P is equal to NP. Okay. So, if suppose if let's take P is not equal to NP. When if P is not equal to NP, if P is not equal to NP, there are problems in NP that are neither in P or nor in NP. So, the problems belongs to class P if it's easy to find a solution for the problem. The problems belongs to NP if it's easy to check a solution that may have been very tedious to find. So, this is completely theoretical uh, concept. This uh, complexity classes about the P, NP, okay, completeness of NP, everything is a theoretical. So, just go through that uh, theory okay then you will understand so here i just read the theory okay so i'm not uh, i'm not able to give the clear idea uh, by taking the example so uh, in the next videos i'll try to solve this uh, uh, p class and np class and uh, explain you with an examples thank you